Hey guys, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures, and today I'm bringing you a quick little video about um, my eBay sales and Etsy sales for the last two weeks of September. But first I wanna say hey in the chat. Hear me? Uh-oh. Did you guys hear anything I just said? I forgot my earbuds were plugged in. <laughs> uh, let me know in the chat, please. Hey Kurt, hey Red Rocket and Darlene and Goddess and Chanta and Terry Berry. So I was just wondering if you guys heard my introduction because um, I had my earbuds plugged in. <laughs> Duh, rookie mistake, right? Okay, so um, if you're just tuning in, hey guys, I'm Tanya, Thrifty Treasures, and today I'm gonna be bringing you a quick sales update uh, for the last two weeks of September. So um, eBay sales and Etsy. Okay, good. Hey, Lonnie's in the chat. All right, so. Okay, you guys, Goddess says you didn't hear me when I first came on. Oh, well. Um, at least I figured it out early on, right? <laughs> I've made whole entire videos, like, pre-recorded with my earbuds plugged in, and I didn't even realize <laughs> what I was doing. So, hey, Lisa. Lisa Rogers is here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to screen share. Let's see which window to choose. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, are you guys seeing my screen share okay? Hey, Christy Winland. Doing good, doing good. How are you? Okay, hopefully you guys are seeing my screen share. So this is a pair of, um, and I always say this name wrong, and I for, meant to look it up to um, see how you pronounce it, and I forgot to. <laughs> so a teen Agner, I think is how you say it. Okay, so I bought these for a dollar at a garage sale, and um, I received a best offer, or they were on sale, I can't remember now. But anyway, they sold for $18.05, plus some shipping. I shipped them in a padded flat rate envelope. Okay, let me look to my next screen. Hang on. Okay, so here is the next item. It is a whale's hat uh, with a dragon on it, snapback. And I bought this for $1.99 at the thrift store. And I received a best offer for $9. So I accepted that plus some shipping. Hey, Fran. Fran is in the chat. Hello. Okay, next item. I hope you guys are seeing this okay. Are you guys seeing my screen pretty good? Um, hey, Bargain Shopping. Thanks, Terry. I pre appreciate all your support. Uh, okay, so I, I guess you guys are seeing it okay. I'm not hearing otherwise in the chat. So this is a vintage uh, 70s gold tone lion choker necklace. This was really pretty. Um, I believe I picked this up for a dollar at a garage sale. And I received a best offer for $15 plus some shipping. Hey, Jason and Lisa. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Okay, next item. Okay, so this crazy hat here, this vintage Tui brand unisex blue and yellow Tour de Fat cycling riding cap. Um, this I picked up at a garage sale during the uh, green room meetup. It was the green room garage sale caravan uh, where we all go and hit these garage sales together. It's really nuts. It's insane, <laughs> but it's so much fun. Um, so I picked this up in Austin for a quarter and I sold it for $23.99 plus free shipping on that. And let me show you the label. There's the label. Okay. Uh-oh. Forgot to mute my phone, you guys. <laughs> Hello, Cat's Meow. 
Oh, thanks, Terry. You're so sweet. Yeah, it was a good find, Lonnie. Got junk in our trunk. Rhonda is here. Hello, Rhonda. Okay, so next item. Uh, the next item, okay, this is, believe it or not, an audiobook on cassette tape. This was in a lot that I picked up uh, early this summer or spring. I paid $40 for a whole bunch of uh, audiobooks. There was a lot of them on CD, and um, there were also some in there that were on cassette. So I probably really only paid maybe 50 cents for this, and it sold for $11.24 with free shipping. And here is another one that sold. This one sold for, I had all my media on sale. So this sold for $9.74 with free shipping. And again, just another audiobook on cassette tape. So these are still selling, you guys. You can easily make 10 bucks or so off of these. If you can pick them up for a quarter or 50 cents, I would definitely go ahead and get them. Um, this, this, in my opinion, was not a good buy, you guys. I think I paid about $6.99 for these shoes. And uh, I kept going back and forth with somebody that was sending me offers. Finally, I accepted an offer of $17 uh, plus some shipping. So I don't really feel like I made a ton of money on that. Uh, but I'd had them in my inventory for a while, so I just wanted to go ahead and get rid of them. Lonnie says, I can't believe cassette books sell. I know. They're, they still sell. It's crazy. Um, let's see. Okay, so here is one of my super fun hats, you guys. I picked these up at Goodwill for $2.99 several months ago. I had bought like four of them, and this makes the second one I've sold now. I was originally asking uh, $49.99, and I ran a, I believe, 30% off sale, and it sold for $34.99 plus some shipping on that. But, um... And here's my crazy mannequin. Isn't she cute? <laughs> so, yeah. I like taking pictures outside, you guys. I feel like when you take pictures outside, it really shows the true colors of the item that you're selling. So, and then there was the tag on that. Oh, I should have turned that the other way. It says doe skin felt. And then there's Doris Designs. Lonnie says, I've got a bunch of rock cassettes. I need to remember to dust them off next time I go to storage. Yeah. Yeah, dust them off and, and list them. Because <laughs> they sell. There's this guy on eBay, and he sells only cassette tapes. And I cannot remember what his idea is, but it's probably, I probably have it saved in my favorite sellers. But all he sells are cassette tapes, and he does pretty good with it. Okay. So let me close some of these out since I've already talked about them. That's Skippy. Sorry about that, you guys. Okay, here's the next item. It is a vintage Armatron Tweety Bird wristwatch. And I described it as non-working for parts. Had it up for $19.99. And it sold on sale for $12.25 plus some shipping. So the watches will definitely sell even if you list them as non-working. <laughs> um, let's see. Rhonda says Japan buys a lot of cassettes. Kurt thinks that seems he says seems like women's spirits do better than men's. Yeah, I think I've only sold like one pair of men's. I bought them for like a dollar at a garage sale, and I sold them for like 30-something. They were like a blue and orange ombre type fabric. They were really interesting. Um, Jason says he's done well selling cassettes here in the UK. That's awesome. Okay. I am reading way up in the chat. <laughs> Oh, Christy Jones says, hey, Christy, she says, my dogs bark when yours do. That's so funny. <laughs> um, hey, Vanessa Chavez. 
Yes, you need to get your Disney watches listed ASAP. Okay, so here's the next item. It is that time, you guys. This Christmas stuff is going to start selling. And this is a real, real pretty little um, vintage costume jewelry brooch by JJ. And um, I hated to sell this one. I should have kept it. <laughs> it's really pretty. Um, let's see. There's the Hallmark. Right. Oopsie. Right. Let me show you. Right there. Gorgeous little brooch. Anyway, what did it sell for? Okay, so I had it up for $24.99. And it sold on sale for $18.74 plus uh, $2.95 shipping. Next item is a pair of men's Saucy Digit Runner Outdoor Hiking Sport Sandal Size 12, brand new with tag shoes. I picked these up for $5.99 at Goodwill, and they sold for $19.99 plus $6.95 shipping. And let me, there's the brand so you guys can see it up close. Okay, so here's the next item. This is actually a DVD, brand new, sealed. I believe I paid $1.99 for this one. And this was actually something I had sent to FBA. And when I had a lot of stuff returned to me, um, this was one of the items. So I just uh, put it up on eBay. And it sold for $12.99 plus $2.95 yeah, shipping. Okay, and this makes the third audiobook on cassette I have sold last week. Um, this one is the Lord of the Rings trilogy, The Return of the King on cassette tape. And this one sold for $11.24 with free shipping. Hey, Yvonne's in the chat. Hello, hello, Yvonne. Welcome. And eBay product videos, hello. Yeah, they're, they weren't the best looking sandals, were they? <laughs> and Rag1602, hello. Um, they're asking why the pick was so tiny. The pick was so tiny on that because I probably copied it from another seller um, and just downloaded it, and that's just the way it showed up. Sometimes whenever I'm listing media, it's just a lot faster if it's a um, stock photo to go ahead and just uh, use somebody else's. I mean, every, you know, usually here I'm about to get myself in trouble. <laughs> I was about to say everybody does it, but no, I don't know that everybody does it. But, um, and really media is the only thing I do that with. CDs, DVDs, books, that, that type of thing. Okay, so here is a pair of uh, women's uh, classic toms. They were a cute little beige color with black polka dots. These I picked up at, at the thrift for $2.99, and they sold for $24.99 plus uh, some first-class shipping on that for $3.95. Toms are expensive, you guys. I went through a Toms uh, stage, and I have several pairs. I still have several pairs of Toms, but when you buy them brand new, they cost about $50 a pair. So definitely pick up the Toms whenever you see them, um, and they were definitely used. But yeah, Toms are a good, good brand of shoes to sell. Okay, so here is a men's Robert Graham uh, Paisley short sleeve button up shirt. This shirt I paid five ninety nine plus some tax at the thrift, and I received a best offer. Oh, I received a lot of best offers, but finally I received a reasonable one. And uh, it was for $35, so I gladly accepted that, plus uh, $3.95 for first-class shipping. Christy Winland says, Hallmark pins do amazing. I have several from the 70s and 80s. Wow, I'll have to go through my jewelry stash and see if I have any. Okay, so here is a pair of BCBG, I don't know how you say that, Eloise, Eloise, 
brown leather lace up boots they're like combat boots these i picked up for a dollar at a garage sale you guys and um they sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Uh, I actually shipped these out last night and shipping was like $9.30. So I didn't go over uh, too bad with that. So that was my sales on eBay for the last two weeks. And then I had a couple sales on Etsy. So I sold these really, really cute little vintage pair of two scatter pins, little jelly belly, uh, rhinestone little brooches. So let me try to think what I, what did I pay for these? I know I bought them at a garage So I think I paid $1.50 for these and they sold for $19.99. Aren't they cute? And there was not any hallmarks on them. But they were so stinking cute. Look at their little emerald green eyes. And they got some little rhinestones on their ears too. Uh, Lonnie says, Tanya, you've been making some nice sales. I've had a, a little bit of sales. Uh, uh, Lonnie taught me how to do the promoted listings. He put a fire under my booty and got me going on that. So I've had a lot of fun uh, seeing the sales come in from that. Hello, Dr. Is Iziness. Hello. Um, they say, I love your pictures. Thank you. Cat's meow says meow. That's cute. Um, Vanessa Chavez says, your pictures are great. Thank you so much. Yeah, quite literally, I just get a piece of typing paper and I take pictures in my laundry room on top of my washing machine. <laughs> and then I just edit with eBay's uh, contrast and whatnot. So they come out pretty good. But usually jewelry is the only thing that comes out good like this. Like I've tried to do, you know, my shoes and other items. They just never look as good as the jewelry will. Okay, so... My other item on Etsy was this J Strongwater Gold Tone uh, Sunburst picture frame. And it's, it was a real mini little bitty frame. So I think I paid 99 cents for this and it sold for $19.99. And I'll show you guys the, um, the Maker's Mark here on the back. You can see it says J Strongwater. Now, you can, it has a little bitty, um, what is this thing called? Like a little thing to prop up so you can literally set it up like a picture frame and it'll sit upright. Or there's a little clip here. So <clears throat> I don't know if the clip is made to uh, maybe like clip on your shirt, like a brooch or something, or exactly how that's supposed to be used. But it was interesting. I actually have another one of these around the house that I found. This is... The second one, just like this, I've sold. And then I have another one. I probably need to just relist this one. Um, but yeah, that sold on the 29th. And let me find, oops. Hang on, let me find where I'm at to stop screen sharing. That is here. Your screen sharing stop. Okay. <laughs> So that's my sales, you guys. Does anybody have any questions? Hello, 30 viewers. Hey, Darlene. What you laughing about, Fran? <laughs> oh, Lonnie. Garage Flip says, uh, that jury has a kickstand. <laughs> right? Um, Dr. Iziness, Iziness is saying, I know a website, photofuse.com, you should try this for the boots, shirts, and everything. Yes, um, definitely, I've used photofuse before. I mean, it's really definitely a great website. It's just time consuming. Sometimes in the past, I've used it maybe just for like the first picture. Um, but yeah, that's definitely a great website. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, Cat's Meow says, it must be tiny if it's a brooch. Christy Winlin is asking any tips on things to stay away from, like don't buy at all. Hmm. 
I don't know because I buy all the things <laughs> um, I definitely wouldn't buy any clothing that is stained I know a lot of times some people list it even if it has a stain now if it's a good brand a profitable brand I might go ahead and um, definitely buy that uh, I probably wouldn't buy any really dirty shoes uh, that would be borderline well-worn stuff <laughs> <laughs> Lonnie says show idea the anti bolo right that's a good idea definitely a good idea thanks for that Christy <laughs> let me screenshot that I don't know if you're being serious or not <laughs> okay hang on let me screenshot okay because <laughs> I will forget um, goddess asks, what makes you put an item on eBay or Etsy does jewelry sell better on Etsy so if it's a vintage piece of jewelry, I will definitely list it on eBay and Etsy. I usually list it on eBay first and then just copy and paste everything for Etsy and it goes really, really fast. Um, you know, of course, if it's a more modern piece of jewelry, I'll probably only list it on eBay. So let's see. Fran says that would be a good show. <laughs> Okay, Lonnie's being serious. Okay, all right, definitely. I think that's a great show idea. We should do that on your show this Sunday. So Lonnie is hosting the Reseller Six Pack this Sunday at 7 p.m. Central. I hope you guys will come and check us out over there. Um, let's see what else. So I uh, haven't talked to Deb. I don't know if we're going to do the Reseller Stew or not tomorrow, uh, but there's a chance that we may. And that is at uh, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Now, Wednesday is going to be our antique booth talk show. And this month it is going to be on Jen, the Pudgy Pickers channel. And that will be Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. So that's a new show that we started. And we do it once a month. It's uh, the first Wednesday of every month. And then, uh, so in November, it will be on Tam's Place channel. So I hope you guys will go subscribe to their channels and check them out. They have really good content on a lot of things, but especially antique booths. Um, Lonnie says, let him think about it. Maybe he'll come up with something better. Yeah, that's a good fallback plan for sure. Greg1602 asks, how do you know when jewelry becomes vintage? I feel like over time, if you've been doing it for a while, you kind of develop an eye for it. And there's also little telltale clues too, as far as the hardware pieces on the jewelry itself. Um, let me see if I have any vintage ones sitting here. Um, oh wait, let me look at this one. No, hang on. I'm trying to find some little clues to share with you. Uh-oh, Skippy's in there playing with a toy. I just heard it. Skippy, are you mad because I'm not playing with you? Here he comes. You hear him? Okay, well, a lot of times, like the class uh, on the brooches can give you a clue. It is, this is a more modern-looking class, really. The rollover, the little rollover kind. But if it's just like a little, like a little C, that might be an indication that it's definitely a vintage piece. Um, like the spring clasp on necklace, on necklaces usually indicate that it's an older piece versus the lobster clasp. That's going to be for the new, the newer pieces. Um, Cat's meow says, "I don't recognize you, Tanya, without your hat on." Hey, Death Piles. Um, yeah, I went and got my hair done today. <laughs> I got my roots done, so I just thought I would wear it down. <laughs> but yeah, love my hats. Hopefully, I'm going to start making them soon and be able to sell them to anybody who might want one. Um, so let's see. Anybody got any more questions for me? And I'm probably going to open that jewelry jar either Wednesday or Thursday. And if we don't do the stew tomorrow, I might do it tomorrow. So we'll just have to see. But I, I cannot wait to open it. It's just, uh, what did I do with it? Oh, it's way over there. But yeah, it's a pretty good sized one. 
So I can't wait to open that. So when I open the jewelry jar, you guys, I've got a whole little box of stuff that um, jewelry and little smalls I've been picking up. I'm also going to share with you guys. So it's probably going to be a pretty long video. Uh, oh, you're so sweet, Linda Dunn. Hello. She says your hair looks great. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Chicago Crown Hustler Kurt says Lonnie needs a new hat. <laughs> I know. I need to make Lonnie a hat with some flowers and some blingy stuff on it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hello, Mike. Welcome. Yeah. So Kurt's asking if Lonnie has a show tonight. Did you go live today, Lonnie? I don't think I got any notifications. Hi, Angie. You'll have to watch the replay. Now I'm just sitting here yapping. <laughs> already talked about all my small little cells, but I'm so glad you showed up. Welcome. So what else is going on, you guys? It's the first week of October. Oh, my goodness. Everywhere I go, everybody's already decorated for Halloween. I still haven't put my stuff out yet. <laughs> I mean, I've started decorating indoors a little bit, but not outside in the front yard. And Mommy, and mommy. Madeline keeps saying, Mommy, when are you going to decorate? And I would have done it today, but... Um, it was raining here this morning, so I didn't get around to that. So, and oh yeah, so this Saturday, I am going to be on the MSP Auctions show with um, Steve and Steph of the Resale Killers, and it's going to be the Halloween special. We're all dressing up, and uh, we are going to auction off 10 items each, so it should be a lot of fun. I really need to start getting all that stuff together. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Christy Winland says, I enjoy your videos. I have learned a lot. Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. So Rex1602 says, did you decide on a name for your blow up guy? <laughs> I like Richard. So I think we're going to go with Richard. So Richard and Delilah will be available for pic picture taking opportunities to the guests that come to my witch party. Do I have him here? Oh, I think I already hid uh, Richard away in my closet. Did I? Yeah, I already hit him. I don't want I don't want the kids to find home and think they have a weird mom. <laughs> so I should go hide it in Kurt's closet. <laughs> That way, if they find it, they think they have a weird dad. Okay, I'm just rambling now. Um, oh, Angie says that Richard is her husband's name. That's funny. Yeah, Cat's Meow says, action pack Saturday night at the auction. Yes, for sure. It's going to be crazy. Because <laughs> you never know with Steve and Steph. So they're such a hoot. They're so much fun. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Lonnie is asking, where is the blow-up valve located? I know where I would put it if I were the designer, right? I might have to snap a quick little video or a picture of uh, Kurt blowing it up. <laughs> he probably won't blow it up with his mouth. We have one of those um, machines where you put something like the little, uh, what's it called? You know, that thingamajigger on there and you turn it on and it blows it up really fast. So, but yeah, that's funny. Actually, oh, I'm not going to go there. We'll go there. I'll just be rambling. Okay, you want me to go there? I'll go there. So Delilah, one year when I was transporting her to my friend's house for the Christmas party, um, well, you know when I bring her over there, I gotta set her up, right? <laughs> so she has this real like like real heavy metal silver uh, like circular base. So her legs go on first, and then, then, you know, you put her torso on. So <clears throat> I'm all dressed up in my Christmas attire, you know, looking crazy. And one of my friends snapped a picture of me. I was um, leaning over, setting her legs up, but it looked like I was leaning over, like, you know, in her lower area. 
<laughs> anyway, it was so funny um, looking back. <clears throat> but yeah, they got me good on that one. So we are dwindling down to 28 viewers, so I should probably cut this off. <laughs> So yeah, I am. Um, I need to go finish up dinner real quick, and then Madeline has uh, horse riding lessons tonight. <laughs> yeah, I should find the picture. I should find the picture. It's really funny. It might be on my personal account. I'll have to go look. But yeah, I mean, people could get the wrong idea if I put that picture out there. <laughs> Exactly. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it when you guys come and hang out with me in the chat. It means a lot to me. Um, so we will see you guys uh, possibly tomorrow for the stew and definitely Wednesday on the Pudgy Pickers channel, Jen's channel. Come join us over there for Antique Booth Talk. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button, you guys. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.